Five years is a long development cycle for any game, with the likes of Rockstar Games exercising this luxury to create their hugely diverse worlds. In this regard, it may seem odd that Playdead, the team behind the mysterious Limbo, have taken the same approach with their next project. So why have we waited so long for Inside? Development issues? Performance problems? Neither, as the duration has been spent meticulously crafting every aspect of the game to perfection, ultimately creating my favourite game of 2016 thus far. Although Inside is unrelated to Limbo, there are similarities between the two. Inside is an environmental 2D platformer, but to leave the description as just that would be a huge disservice to what Inside really is. Firstly, the narrative, which considering there is no dialogue within the game, is wonderfully compelling. Story spoilers would ruin the tell, but exquisite pacing and variety had my partner and me literally sitting on the edge of our chairs. At times, we were shocked, terrified, and occasionally jubilant. As you progress through a haunting forest, your red garment gleaming like a beacon for anyone or anything to find you, it is not long before the eerie calmness becomes unsettled and you begin to question what is unfolding on screen. Menacing men with harrowing masks shine their torches through the branches, whilst the echoes of barks from ravenous dogs ricochet between the trees. Regardless of their true purpose, if they catch a glimpse they will pursue you and overpower you, dragging your unconscious body towards their vehicles. The canines are less delicate as they feast on your body like a chew toy, tearing you apart in a horrifying fashion. As I touched upon earlier, every detail is attentively deliberate. Inside is gorgeous and it achieves this with an extremely limited palette. Colour is embraced as a luxury and used only when needed. Inside feels truly 3D to the extent I felt as though I was watching an actual three-dimensional presentation. Events occur in the distance whilst in the foreground tree stumps and other obstacles add a layer of separation between you and the child in red. Subtle panning movements by the camera add a genuine depth to proceedings without realising it and allow the environments to possess an intimidating scale. Enemies will descend upon you from the horizon as their terrifying silhouettes engulf you. Delving underwater plays a big part within Inside, and once more the attention to detail is staggering. The light refracts as it hits the water, while small pieces of debris illuminate beneath the surface. The final 20 minutes of the game without going into detail could be the most technically impressive display of animation and physics I've seen in a game, and that is precisely why Inside took so long to be completed. Do not be fooled into thinking Inside is purely a thrill for the senses, as the gameplay and puzzles are ingenious. Mind control is a prominent theme within Inside, and puzzles utilise this mechanic as you don a contraption on your head, allowing other bodies to mimic your movements. Hidden orbs are located throughout the game, which can be found by spotting a stray yellow wire in this black world. These puzzles are the most daunting, with one particular orb found me fending off a gang of rabid dogs with nothing more than an aflamed stick. Very few games leave me speechless when they conclude, yet Inside did exactly that. As the credits began, I dared not touch the controller in fear of missing something of vital importance. The beauty of being a condensed experience was that I finished the game in one sitting. Do not think of a 4 hour experience as being an injustice to the player, as a perfectly crafted shorter experience is far more preferable than a 10 hour forgettable one. Playdead have created another masterpiece. Inside is perhaps the most technically fluid gaming experience I've encountered. How a story can be so compelling without a single word spoken is an incredible achievement. Inside created a world I both feared and enjoyed, staying with me long after the experience had concluded. I give Inside 5 stars out of 5. Head to thenerdstash.com for the full written review.